Hello, here I am again. Um, this shoebox is for a 10 to 14 year old boy. The box is slightly wider than your standard OCC box. I found that the usual cutoff is once you hit a men's size 10 shoe, then the boxes get larger. At least for this brand they do. So I try to get them smaller, but this one came, so I found a bulky item uh, to put in it to take up space. So the bulky items right here, as you can see, <laughs> is pretty bulky. Um, this is a hoodie. And I don't usually do hoodies because they take up so much space. But <clears throat> this one was donated to me. It is an adult medium. So I will do size bigger sizes of clothing in the boys, the teenage boys, uh, just because the size of a teenager varies greatly. So we'll trust that God gets it to the right kit. So there's his hoodie, which is probably his wow item, but there's a couple other wow items in here as well. So here we have his stuffed animal. I always put a stuffed animal in this is for a seal. A baseball um, toy panda with the little baby panda I'm standing on his head here uh, put him in a bag because I don't want the little guy getting lost in this Easter egg there's a jumping frogs I guess jumping rabbits game I just dropped one I'll make sure to get it before I put this away. Um, two pair of underwear, a men's small and a boy's extra large, which is, or boy's large. Um, men's small is a size 28 waist, so it's basically a boy's extra large anyway. So I put those in. Uh, I had to sew a couple of drawstring bags here for some of the things with small pieces. So this one is Legos. There's more in there. I'm just not going to dump them all out right now. And the second one here is for a mini Chenga game. I've left it in the plastic wrap so they can see how it's assembled. Um, but then I've also given them the bag to keep the pieces in once it's out of the plastic. Uh, one of the gals this morning commented on another one of my videos oops, that even if they don't know how to play Chenga, um, they could use them like uh, dominoes to set them up and knock them down. They could use them to uh, build with, make little cities or their race cars or something like that. Which he does have a couple of cars in here. So, two different Hot Wheels. It's like the 80s, man. Cool. Um, so, you can use them for that as well. Alright, then I have also last toy a fidget spinner. These are the ones that come from Raymond Geddes. So, when they have their 50% off sales, which are quite often, they're 45 cents if you buy them um, uh, by the dozen. So, I've done that. And some chapstick. Toothbrush and a comb. And soap. Picture of myself with my contact information. And the rest of what's in here is pretty much school supplies. So we have a package of index cards, scissors, colored pencils, pencil case, inside the pencil case, we have a protractor sharpener, pencil top erasers, blue and black pens, uh, glue sticks, there's many, many, many erasers in there, 
This whole side is pencils. So there's like eight pencils and there's a small ruler. So he's pretty set there for math or school. Oh, and in the bottom too, there's there's crayons hiding in there. And at the very bottom, there's some markers. So he's got a little bit of everything. All right, then he also has a college ruled notebook. And in the bottom, there's a folder. And in the folder, I uh, have a maze, a smelly bookmark, a coloring book. And I think there's some stickers hanging down in there too. So, um, that's what I have here for this 10 to 14 year old boy. So if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching.